all right so my thesis deadline is in a couple weeks and i have other work deadlines coming up so i thought it would only be logical for me to take two days off to knit full-time basically on this sweater that i'm making i will be starting the sweater number 15 by my favorite things knitwear today and uh i will be making that in this yarn this is from Holland Creative and it is Peruvian Highland wool and uh, this is for needle size 4 to 5 and the sweater number 15 is knit in I think it's a fingering and a uh, mohair combined and I'm just going to be using this single stranded so we'll see uh, how good I will be with getting gauge so first of all, let's make a gauge swatch. Okay, so this might just be the tiniest little swatch ever, but it looks like I'm hitting gauge with the recommended needle size, which is amazing. So we can start knitting uh, right now. And I just looked through the pattern a bit more. I already did that before today, but just a bit more. And I think my goal for today would be to work the back section and the left front section so that tomorrow i can do the right front section and then the front and join in the round and then yeah i think joining in the round would be my ideal goal for um this two days these 48 hours so yeah let's let's kind of make it a challenge to see how far i can go uh, these 48 hours and I'll update you throughout, of course, but I can't really show you the pattern, so we'll have to manage that a bit. But uh, yeah, let's go. So it's 1 p.m. right now, so I've been knitting since 9, so it's been 4 hours now, and we are about this far in, and I love it so much. There's a slight color variation that you cannot really see that great here, I think, but I'll insert some footage where you can see it a bit better, maybe. But this, oh, it's so beautiful, and the pattern is not too difficult. I find some of the increases are within the cables while you're twisting them and i find those a bit difficult i have a tiny little hole here but it's not too noticeable i think so i'm just i just keep going um i had a slight outfit change uh first of all because i was not really dressed for the day yet when i started knitting and second of all, I have a small errand to run right now. So it will probably take me an hour and I unfortunately cannot take my knitting with me. So that sucks. That will take one hour half off uh, my knitting time. But I'm feeling pretty confident in this so far. It's obviously now it's growing quite quickly. But as I keep adding stitches, it will eventually... Uh, become a bit harder to get through the rows but for now i think we're going uh pretty well i'll flip this around so you can see it a bit better maybe yeah so this here you can see a bit better um what the sweater looks like right now i've done two 
twists already. I'm about halfway through the third repeat and I'm done at four repeats. I'm knitting a small size. But here you can see there's a cable that has cables growing out of it so it increases. And yeah, it's just really beautiful and I find the color to look quite good on me. It's turning up a bit more blue than it is in real life. It's almost has some green in it for me, but it's I love this so much and I cannot wait to uh, finish this skin and get started on next and just and just see how far we can go today basically. So yeah, I have a few errands to run but I will be back to update you pretty soon. Alright, so it's 4.45 p.m. right now and we are about this far in. I think it's going great. Um, it's going by a bit slower than I thought it would maybe. But I just finished working the uh, back and shoulder increases. So now it's just following uh, the cable pattern for a bit and then we're doing the armhole increases and then I get to move up to the uh, front left part which is something that I wanted to do today but I'm not sure if it will happen I'm still super in love with the yarn I think it shows up a bit better on camera now than it did before uh, color wise but I'm still so in love with the fabric that this creates and I've been made aware in the group chat that I have with fellow knitters that this is indeed hand dyed yarn because I wasn't sure because it was super inexpensive yarn for hand dyed yarn. I think I paid like 10 euros for a 100 gram skein of hand dyed yarn and that's not a lot. So I uh, would definitely recommend Holland Creative, not sponsored, but they have amazing yarn and it's hand dyed and it's inexpensive So at this point I got pretty tired from knitting and started making some mistakes. You can see here that I had to rip out a twist because I had somehow managed to double twist my cable, which I didn't know was possible, but oh well. After that I decided it was time for somewhat of a bigger break and my boyfriend so generously made me a really nice dish, after which it was time to get going again. And I think I knitted until 10.30 before calling it a day because I was pretty exhausted and starting, started to make even more mistakes. The next morning I woke up, grabbed myself some coffee and turned on the TV and I started knitting again. In the Netherlands we have a tradition where everyone votes on their favorite songs and between Christmas and New Year's the top 2000 songs gets played so I decided to turn it on for a bit and knit to the music. So I think this is the first time that I'm talking to the camera today, so hi, good morning, or well, it's 1pm right now, so good afternoon. I've been knitting since this morning and I'm on the second to last pattern repeat on the back side. So it's going great. I think I'll be hitting the uh, front left part maybe at 3pm, which would be great because that means I have plenty of time to still get to my goal for these 48 hours. And yeah, so it's going great. I still am so much in love with how this is turning out. Uh, I'm still on my first skein, which um, means that I 
absolutely overbought yarn for this project. I bought eight skeins of 100 grams and I'm still my first one. So I think I should be good with maybe four, maybe five skeins. So there is going to be uh, three skeins left over after this, <laughs> at least maybe even four or could be more honestly, I don't know, but there's going to be a lot of yarn after this. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see what to do with that because it's such lovely yarn, but I don't know if I'll knit up a second sweater in the same color or whatever I'll do with it. Um, but yeah, this is going great. And something else has been going great actually is um, something other than knitting. I don't know if you remember the errands that I had to run yesterday. Well, you probably saw it like f three or four minutes ago. But the errands that I had to run yesterday were actually a job interview. Um, I have been looking for jobs because I'm graduating pretty soon. So I would really like a job after I graduate. And I got the job. I just got a phone call saying that I got the job so that's great we love that uh, I'm going to be working at a museum I'm honestly so happy that first of all I got a job and second of all I got a really cool job <laughs> honestly working at a museum I love it it's so great but yeah uh, I've just been happy knitting after I got the news yeah let's keep on knitting So it's about 3.30 uh, p.m. right now and I just finished the back panel part thingy. It's looking really good. I did the last row of increases and this is all. Ooh. And this is all the yarn I have left from a first skein. I had calculated it and I thought I would have enough to do the left panel as well with this yarn, but apparently not. So it's time to break out the second skein, which means it's time to uh, pull out the yarn winder and the umbrella swift. And yeah, let's get winding. I got a new swift from my boyfriend for Christmas, so this will be the perfect time to uh, get some use out of that one. Yeah, let's let's start winding. So it's been a couple hours since I've updated you and I pretty much just flew right through the left front part. So that one is finished right now. So I will be putting that on the uh, helping cable that I have here just to put them on hold starting the right front. And um, yeah, I don't know how far I'll get today because I'm about to go out for dinner with my boyfriend. Uh, first of all, to celebrate my uh, job. So that's great. And second of all, it is our anniversary. We've been together for one and a half years today. So that also deserves a celebration. And thirdly, uh, we're, go we're going to check out Scheveningen because there's a big fire going um, on there at the beach tonight. So that should start at like 11 p.m. So I have a lot of downtime. So I will bring my knitting. But obviously, when watching the bonfire, I will not be knitting because I don't want 
this yarn to smell or anything. So I'll see how far I will get today, but um, I already think this is quite a lot for two days. It's going quite great, this experiment or challenge, uh, whatever you want to call it. Things are going quite well and I'm just really enjoying this. And I don't know if I'm updating you again today, tonight or tomorrow morning. Might be better with all the lighting and then I can also uh, try it on a bit and show you how it looks on me because I haven't done that yet but I trust the pattern I <laughs> really do trust the pattern and it, so far it looks great it looks like how I think it should look so yeah I'll update you either tonight or tomorrow but I'll probably film some clips of tonight so you can can have something to watch in the meantime but yeah i'll update you soon So it's the next day and the big question obviously is have I made the goal or have I not? Uh, first of all we had a lot of fun yesterday at the beach at the restaurant. I started some footage before this so you could see the bonfire and the fireworks. The fireworks were just amazing and the bonfire as well it was huge but people who went there before all said that it was very tiny compared to other years. It must have been like four times the size then, but it was pretty impressive right now. And I did get some knitting, but I unfortunately did not meet my goal. Um, so I finished the left front right before we left. And then the right front, I'm almost done with. I have maybe two or three more rows with increases and then it's finished. So I get to join the uh, front sections and work on the on the general front and then I get to join in the round and work on it in the round. I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for the well every row has purling of course but when you're doing a six uh, stitch cable, the backside has six purl stitches, which is was a bit annoying, but purling will be a pretty big thing uh, all throughout this pattern, of course. But I'm really excited to work on this more today and in the future, of course. I'm also really excited to work on some other projects. My knitting podcast, which comes out at I think it's this Sunday when you're watching this. Um, my knitting podcast will come out and I will tell you a bit more about the other things that I knit because I do not just knit this sweater on this channel. I knit a lot. So um, please stay tuned for that and do check that one out when it is uploaded. So yeah, this is how much of this sweater I could knit in 48 hours. And I do think it's quite impressive, honestly. It's not as far as I would have gotten if I had picked maybe an easier pattern or yeah, it's I could have gotten further if I just picked a straight stockinette raglan increase pattern, but this is the one that I wanted to knit and I think it's going to look beautiful. And I don't know if this will be my main whip right now because I have some other things I'm working on and I'm really excited about but as I mentioned I will tell you about those in my knitting podcast and in my other videos so please do check those out if you're interested in what else uh, I knit 
I will link my uh, series of podcasts right here. So you can watch that after this. If you are still not tired of hearing me talk about knitting all the time, you can check those out. And yeah, I'll basically we'll see you guys again real soon. So uh, bye.